Bye. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, it's going to be drinking. Look, look, it's going to be smoking. Look, look, it's going to be swearing. Look, look, you've been warned. So look, look, look. Here I come. In three. In two. Last chance. In one. Bang! Welcome, everybody. Black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew. Bang! Welcome, everybody. Welcome. My name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. The greatest show on earth. The greatest show. Yes. In the multiverse. Greatest show in the Dagon multiverse. And we have a great show for you. Bang! Today. Check it out. All right, we have a, we have a show and an announcement. So let me tell you the show, and then we're going to do a quick announcement, and we'll get into it. So look, first story, chain link to the rescue. A little different, though. This time it's your portfolio they're rescuing. What? My portfolio? Yes, your portfolio, brother. Grayscale is going to replace XRP in their large cap fund with, bang, chain link. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, XRP, it's like at a dollar right now. Those cult members, they just won't stop, will they? All right, well, you've been warned. And then, Stellar Hodlers, bang! Uganda chooses Stellar for guess what? Another Akon city. Yeah, Uganda is going to build another Akon city. You remember the Akon city that's going to be built in Sierra Leone? On the Stellar blockchain? Yeah, they're going to do it in Uganda. Bang! Bang! We're going to read about that. And then finally... CoinShares launches a Litecoin ETP. This is the big news of the day, and we're going to read about that. But first, I'd like to have celebration. Everybody, a round of applause to our brother, Justin Williams, who gave us the words, shut up, wife. I'm about that whole life. That's him. That's him, the one, the very one, the very one who said it. And Justin Williams, I'm proud to I'm, pr I'm proud to announce. Bang! Gets on to the CB News list of champion subscribers. What is a champion subscriber, Shamari? What's a champion? A champion subscriber is when you make your first million dollars. One million dollar and one penny? Bang! You're a champion. <laughs> You're a master. That's it. One million and one penny. That's all you gotta do. It's all you got to do. Not only that, not only are you a cryptocurrency blockchain champion subscriber, but yes, yes, your name gets put in for your true membership into the goodie room. See, right now you're in the goodie room because you're just here with me. Right now I'm showing you guys around. You guys are making money. But you're not a member yet. You're not a member of the goodie room until you make $1 million. By making your money make you money. Right, not one million dollars by you know starting a business out there or selling your house or something. No, 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 no. No, you've got to make your money, make you money. And look, look. It is my privilege and distinct honor to welcome Justin Bumbleclot Williams. Not only the cryptocurrency blockchain news list of champion subscribers. But, yes, in my authority as a member of the Goody Room, yes, I pronounce you, bang, a member of the Goody Room. Welcome, Justin. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations. Welcome to the Goody Room. Yes. Good job. So, we ready? We're going we're gonna to make it official. Bang, here's the pen. Bang. Yes. You ready? Bang. Let's do this. Oh, and he said that we should put the date that they get millionaires, that they get uh, the championship level. So he told me the date. It was, he said, the 5th. Today's the 7th. I know it's it's already twelve forty two at midnight. So he got he got he got his membership well if his thing on the fifth or five twenty twenty one. All right, there it's official. Bang 
Justin Williams. Bang! Third member of the cryptocurrency blockchain news family. Bang! But it's really not official until what? Until they get the star. You see how it works is, you got your $1 million level. Bang! That's your membership in the goodie room. Anything after that, now you're showing off, which you should be. So $1 million. Bang! And then $2 million. Bang! Then $5 million. Bang! And then 10 plus. Now y'all want, well, I'm trying to get everyone over here to the 10 plus. Well, not I'm trying. I mean, you got to do it yourself. It's your fucking money, but I mean, I'm trying to help out, trying to help out. And so let's give Justin Williams, bye, his $1 million star. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's make it official. Let's make it official. There it is. Bye. Justin Williams, official member of the championship subscribers and official. Bang. One million dollar member of the goodie room. Look, look, Justin. Good job. Good job. He was one of the originals. I mean, the original. I mean, like, I think it was Justin Williams, Airdropper 007 and Edwin. They were the only three guys, I think, that watched the very first show I ever did. <laughs> so when I say originals, I fucking mean it. Like, I think they were the only three guys probably watching the first week of the show. <laughs> so look, look, Justin. You made it. Bang. Of course he did. I knew he would. I was actually wondering, well, how long is it going to take this motherfucker? He's been here from the beginning. I mean, he's a worker bee, but I mean, he's been accumulating. But I mean, you know, he's got wife and kids and stuff. Yeah, she's a oh, one of those guys, a good guy. Wife and kids, good family man. All right, so let's get to the stories now, now that we've done our presentation. Once again, bang, Justin. Welcome to the goodie room, brother. Okay, so now let's do it. Bang. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering when that guy was going to, I mean, he's been here from the get-go. Like I said, though, he's got a wife and kids, so. Yeah. <laughs> You know how that goes. I mean, I don't know, but you all know. So look, let's just go. All right, price of Bitcoin, $57,549. This motherfucker just will not stay above 60, will it? Son of a bitch. Right, it just won't go higher. That's resistance. It's called resistance. 60, it looks like 60 is heavy resistance for the BTC. All right, well, uh, the price of Bitcoin is, whoops, wait, what am I doing? Oh, the price of Bitcoin, $57,549. When I left you on Saturday, we're at $58,053. So we have gone down. Let's see how much we went down here. We've gone down. What? Wait, sorry, guys. Hold on one second. Oh, $500. Okay, there we go. Oh, 494 dollars. All right, 494 dollars down. All right, look, look, let's keep it moving. Top 10 of the day, brothers and sisters. Dag on usual suspects. Top 10: Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Coin, XRP, Tether, Cardano, Polkadot, Uniswap, Litecoin, and Bang Chainlink holding on the number 10. Look at these fucking idiots here. Look at look at look at Riffle. A dollar. Oh my gosh. Good luck with that, folks. All right. Let's see. Single did up, single is down. There's Ripple, 18% up. No banks using it. Remitting, remitting, remitting less than two million dollars a day. Under SEC indictment, not just the company, but also the actual top executives. Gosh, gosh. And you wonder, Shamari, why do you say that there's dumb money here? Well, here you go, fuckstick. There you go. All these other things to invest in that are actually making money, not under indictment, and you're going to pour your money into that hunk of shit. Good luck with that. All right, single this up, single this down. <laughs> like, I mean, seriously. Like, in any other market, if, if there was SEC indictments plus the executives, yeah, well, bang, that shit would go down. Right here in crypto land. Crypto land's straight dumb money. Dumbass soccer moms and dads. And just cult members. I don't know. Fucking retard. Uh, 
stupid people. Really, out of all this stuff, making money, revenue generating, that's what you go for? All right. All right, single digits up, single digits down. Look at you, V-Chain. There we go. That's the spirit. Let's do this thing. Bum a clot, do this bum a clot thing. Uh, price target on that's a dollar, so we got a long, long way to go. <laughs> single this up, single this down. Solana. Single this up, single this down. Neo. Neo's been making kind of some moves lately. Huh, haven't they? Not top 10, bottom 10 moves like when I do the top 10, bottom 10 thing, but just from observing, I've noticed. NEM, 10% up. There you go. Look, look. Elrond, doing your thing, doing your thing. All right, single this up, single this down too. Single this up, single this down. All right. Let's see who made money, to, uh, sorry, lost money today. You see anything on here you like? Go get it. Because it's on sale. All right, here we go. Bar. Oh, yeah, there's some steep sales today. Top 10 losers. Stacks, BitTorrent, Hot, uh, sorry, Hollow, Dent, Phantom, Filecoin, Tron, Crypto.com, Crypto.com coin and Har oh, Harmony and Sia coin. Let's see who made money today, folks. Bye. Top 10 gainers. Bitcoin Gold, Qtum, Helium, OMG Network, Qcoin Token. Holy Qcoin Token, really? XRP, Ethereum Classic, NEM. One second, one second. NEM and Elron. Yes. All right, let's see total mark cap. Oh, motherfuckers. We are so close. 1.972 trillion. All right. Well, we're getting real close. We're getting, we're, we're inching up every day. By tomorrow, I think I'll probably be telling you 2 trillion and change. Okay, so uh, total mark cap is $1.972 trillion. When I left you on Saturday, we were at $1.908 trillion. So we have gone up uh, $0.64 trillion. That's 24-hour volume. Holy, is that the volume for real? Mm -hmm. wow. All right. Holy, <laughs> that's a big jump. All right. 24-hour volume, $208.9 billion. When I left you on Saturday, it was $164.8 billion. So we've gone up. Uh, what is that? $44.1 billion. All right, let's get to the stories. Bang! Nice. Yeah, this market's moving nicely. Moving nicely. Remember that. We almost doubled up and we almost doubled up total market cap in fucking 60 days. Dag gone, dag gone. All right, let's get to the stories. Buy Oracle token, Chainlink, replaces XRP in Grayscale Strategic Large Cap Fund. All right. Let's check it out. Try, like, it's shit like this, you know. It's getting, de the XRP is getting delisted, getting thrown out of funds and everything. And somehow the price goes up. Like, what kind of investors are these? <laughs> Fucking morons is what it is. Morons. I mean, out of all the good stuff out here to invest in, and and you go for the thing that's indicted by the SEC, that's what I mean by dumb money. Like you know, so like when you hear me say dumb money, don't don't be offended. This is the kind of shit I'm talking about. Like in the real stock market, you'd never see something like that. I know the GameStop thing. Well, that was a true dumb money play as well, because GameStop is not worth all that they pumped it up to be, right? And so. This sort of investor activism kind of shit. Oh well, <laughs> you guys are gonna get burned. You're gonna get burned hard. All right, but Grayscale. So uh, they put in their large cap fund, uh, Chainlink, and that's what I mean. Chainlink to the rescue of your portfolio. Chainlink to the rescue of your portfolio. Ah. Portfolio will be looking a little bit nicer. Actually, let's look at Chainlink for a second. 
What's chain link up to these days in terms of price? Let's check it out. I mean, we don't look at prices here. You know, I don't look at prices on just for the fun of it. Oh, $34. That's quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Keep it going. Keep it going. $14 billion market cap. Sounds about right. Keep it up, buyers. Keep it up. All right. All right, let's do the story. Well, let me get a sip first. All right, let's check it out. The digital cur currency manager, Grayscale Investments. Announced that the firm has updated its digital large cap fund in order to add the crypto asset Chainlink to the fund. Chainlink is the popular blockchain oracle network, and the token will replace XRP, as it should, after Grayscale removed the digital currency from the GDLC. Chainlink added to Grayscale's digital large cap fund. Following Grayscale's recent announcement, telling the public that it intends to... Tra oh, I know. So we actually are going to talk about that tomorrow. So we're going to talk about this other thing tomorrow. Telling the public that it intends to transform the GBTC Bitcoin Trust into an ETF. So I guess these guys are going to apply. Well, not I guess. That's the only way you can do it. They're going to apply to turn one of their trusts into an ETF. Uh, the organization, we're going to talk about it tomorrow. Probably, maybe. I don't know. The organization revealed that Chainlink will be joining the Digital Large Cap Fund. Uh, last year, the GDLC contained the digital currency XRP, but Grayscale dropped the token off the roster after the recent Securities and Exchange Commission issues with Ripple Labs. Of course, you fucking idiots. Are you out of your mind? That is so funny, man. That thing is up to a buck now. I mean, I know why it is. It's because today, uh, today the SEC, today Ripple went to court. Okay, they went to court. So what? Uh, the trial hasn't started yet. Why are you pumping more money in, you moron? <laughs> These guys are stupid. Look, well, that's why you're here with me. All right. In addition to Chainlink, the GDLC fund contains Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. Each crypto asset has a different amount in the GDLC fund, and Grayscale revealed the GDLC holdings on April 2nd, 2021. As of the end of day on April 2nd, 2021, the fund components were a basket of 79% Bitcoin, 17% Ethereum, 0.8% Bitcoin Cash, and 1% Litecoin, and 0.90% chain link. Wow, so that's not much chain link, actually. <laughs> all right, all right, let's move on. Chain link's rise. Oracle token built on Ethereum gained 1,223% against the US dollar in 12 months. The changes to Grayscale's GDLC fund follow the recent introduction of the organization's single asset investment vehicle, the chain link trust. All right, like a fund is usually a basket of assets. So you have more than one thing in it, right? Usually, usually. I mean, you can all, you, I mean, you can see that we're, the, these guys are applying for the ETFs, Bitcoin ETFs, which will only have Bitcoin in it. But usually a fund is a basket of assets. Okay, just so you know, that's how it usually is. I mean, I'm going to read to you about a fund right now. Yeah, it's just Litecoin, right? But... Uh, Usually, it's multiple assets in a basket. Uh, the link-based trust gives investors exposure to exposure to the price movement of the link. The decentralized data routing protocol built on Ethereum. Grayscale adding Chainlink also follows the recent rise in Oracle-based tokens. Chainlink is up 21% this week, 18.3% during the last month, and 93% oh, by over the last 90 days, and is a whopping 1,223% against the U.S. dollar during the last 12 months. Bang! All right. Uh, Chainlink is down a touch over 8% since reaching an all-time high two months ago, touching $36.59. All right. Bang! So $36.59 is their, is their, is their all-time high? Let's see where it is. What are they at? $34.54? Okay. We're getting close. So look, 
Chain link hodlers. Oh, yeah. Bye. Don't be afraid to accumulate now. Don't be afraid to accumulate. Let's move on. Bang. Oh, yes. Why the Uganda chose Stellar Lumens to power the currency of its new city. So, for those of you who are new here on this channel, uh, there's a guy named Akon, right? His name's Akon. He's a rapper, singer, something like this. And uh, he's from Senegal. And... Uh, He's popular. He's famous, <laughs> I suppose. I don't. I don't follow pop culture, so I don't know. If you showed me a picture of Taylor Swift, I wouldn't know it's her. All right, that's how much I don't follow pop culture. Um, but he's a rapper, singer guy, and he's building a crypto city in in Senegal. the uh, The prime minister gave him, I think it was two thousand acres, to build a crypto city in, and this crypto city. Uh, it's mega like it's uh yeah every kind of tech nerd thing you can imagine is going to be in this city yeah like it's going to be you know um you know environmentally friendly you know uh, electric cars uh um it and so stellar is the the, the thing that's going to be uh, powering the city um so all transactions will be on stellar um but the actual transactions are going to be done through this thing called A Coin, right? So A Coin, you know, Stellar. Like I've been telling you about Stellar. Stellar is like a a crypto highway, you know. If you want to look at it that way, like fuck the lumens, not ah, fuck the lumens. I mean, I'm not telling you, but I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying, Stellar. What makes Stellar so special is that you can move any digital asset on it you want, NFTs, CBDCs, stable coins, cryptos, all of them, uh, anything. Any digital asset, right? And so that's what makes it special. And so, so this guy Acon built is building a city called A Coin, and well, apparently, bang, he's convinced the Ugandan government <laughs> to let him build one of them there, and he's going to do it again, bang, using Stellar. Thank God, thank God. Oh yeah, yeah. You see that movie Black Panther, right? Wakanda. Yakanda, whatever it's called, right? Yeah, flying ships, fucking aliens. No, they weren't aliens. They were humans. Well, whatever they were, man. Right? All futuristic. That's what his city's going to be like. Well, I mean, it's not going to have flying shit and shit like that. I mean, let's be realistic. But what I just mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not going to be like that where they got like spaceships and everything. But what I'm saying is, is every tech nerd thing you can think of, you know, Artificial intelligence, uh, uh, you know, facial recognition, uh, just everything, everything, every tech nerd thing you can think of, right? Uh, environmentally friendly, everything. All right, so you get the point. And it's going to have its own money called eight coins, which are going to run on the Stellar Network. So, Stellar Hodlers, bug! Looks like here's city number two coming. And so, obviously, these are long-term plays. Uh, obviously, these are long-term plays. Uh, building a city does not happen overnight. <laughs> right? So, you know, now that I'm reading this one, I haven't actually read the story, but I obviously I know what it is. It's going to be the same as the Acoin one, the Acon city in in, Sierra Leone, in Senegal. Um, if you're a stellar hodler, yeah, long-term play. This is long-term play business, right? Uh, this is the kind of shit that five, ten years from now, pff, your stellars are going to be massive, massive. I mean, they're already going up, of course. Let's look at Stellar for a second. Where's Stellar at? Where's Stellar? Let's just take a quick peek at the charts. Let's take a quick peek. So, you know, obviously, every every chart you look at crypto obviously has a peak at 2018 and then, obviously, the bloodbath. <laughs> All right, so now let's look at Stellar. So Stellar started going up again in, yep, November 18th, 2020. Everything did. Everything did. That's why when you look at every chart, it's bang since last year, right? It every Every single coin has gone up. How do you think we fucking doubled up the market in 60 days, right? And uh, 
So Stellar has gone nice, nicely. Beautiful market. A pulse up, retrace, consolidation. Pulse up, retrace, consolidation. Pulse up, retrace, consolidation. And it looks like we're on the way to another pulse up. So look, it's how it goes. It's how markets work. I've told you guys that before. I've shown it to you in my own charts when I did my trading, when I showed you my trading. Oops, that's the chain link thing. All right, so Stellar Hodlers. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I don't tell people what to do with their money, but I'm going to I give you my opinion. I am going to be fucking, fucking, fucking loading up. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have a lot of Stellar Hodlings. Not enough. Not enough. For down the road. This is for down the road, right? This is down the road shit. All right? Your quick kill. You got your quick kill coins. Quick ROR. Rate of return. And then you got stuff like this. You know? That's long-term money that you'll just be making just... You know, you're already going to be a millionaire, but you'll still be making millions off of this thing. So look! Stellar Hodlers! Let's move on and check it out. Fuck, man. All right, that's the difference. Stellar, it's not a... I mean, it's a blockchain with a token, but it's called token agnostic. In other words, any digital asset can be moved on it. So really, Stellar is not your normal blockchain where you got to use some sort of token. Like for VeChain, to use VeChain, you got to buy these VTHOs and use it, right? Um, Ethereum, you got to buy Ethereum and pay the gas, right? Yeah, Stellar... You could just use that crap. <laughs> you know, you don't have to use, you can put whatever you want on it, right? You can, I could send you a, a stable coin. I could send you a CBDC. I could send you a VeChain token if I want on it. Like, it's, it's token agnostic is what that is, agnostic. In other words, the blockchain doesn't care what you put on it. As long as it's a digital asset and you got an address, you have an address to send to, all right, it'll send it there, all right? That's what makes Stellar really awesome. And I'm not going to bullshit you like, so now I'm going to just say something and this is only my thoughts. So this isn't anything I've read or anything like that, but this is just my thoughts of where seller could go one day. Um, I mean, with everything, now this is going to sound wild. It's going to sound big. You know, I th I'm a big thinker. I think big. Uh, Stellar could just be a global platform for sending digital assets around. <laughs> yeah. Right, just a global platform. Yeah, whatever you want to send. If you're a bank, you want to send stable coins to another bank, have at it. If you're a business, you want to send well, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's, let's let's slow down and let's let's back up. If you're a bank and you want to send CBDCs to another bank, have at it. If you're a business and you're doing B2B transactions, business to business transactions, and I want to send stable coins across it, have at it. Uh, if I'm a remitter, and I want to send, you know, money to my grandma in Jamaica. Have at it, right? Uh, I think that Stellar can position itself to just be, <clears throat> which is how I view it, which is what it is. Now, this is going to be big. This is going to sound wild. But Stellar could be the global digital asset highway. And you guys know me. You guys know me, right? I don't. You know, I'm not into big, like, crazy thoughts and conspiracies and shit. I look at shit in a realistic manner. We could. As long as it's regulatory compliant. You know, if all the, you know, governments and banks and everything could just agree. All right, let's just, you know, we they'll use different stable coins. They'll use different coins and different this and this, different CBDCs and all that. But we have this one platform here that'll send it to wherever we want to go. Anywhere. Yeah, guys. I think Stellar is going to be major well has the potential to be we'll see how that ends up being but i think stellar has the potential to be the global digital asset highway remember that you heard it here from shamari first you heard it here first the global digital asset highway i mean not by next year but five ten years from now all transactions all all that digital all these uh sorry sorry uh, can, shit can be just sent over Stellar between governments, between businesses, and between people. All right. So I'm going to be putting in yes. 
a bunch more. Like I said, that's down the road. No, that's not next month. Or sorry, next year. But, uh, right, it's the one blockchain out here. I mean, there's other blockchains, right? They're doing this bridging, uh, they're doing the, uh, you know, the shit. So, well, you can move an Ethereum token to this, or you can wrap a token and move it on here. But yeah, you don't have to do all that fancy pants shit with Stellar. Just send it, dog. You got a stable coin? No, you want to send it to your buddy? Huh? Huh? You want to send it to your buddy Justin Williams? Yeah, go ahead. What, your buddy Edwin wants to send you a Bitcoin? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's just there, right? You don't have to do anything else, all right? Okay, okay, so let's get to it now. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. And this is what, so, you know, the guy who made Stellar, his name is Jed McCaleb. This is what he wanted Ripple to be, right? But the Ripple, the guys at Ripple, they just made their little coin and just wanted to do some little dumb shit. He's like, nah, man, you know, let's be some shit where everyone can move all this shit around. They didn't want to do it, so he's like, fuck you guys, I'm leaving. And that's what Stellar is, right? Kind of like how Charles Hoskinson, he left Ethereum to make like a better Ethereum. Yeah, well, this guy, Judd McCaleb, he left Ripple to make his vision of what he wanted it to really be. Because oh, those other guys didn't want to do it. All right, so look, let's hear about it. Per a report by NBS Television, Uganda is planning to... Whoops. Holy shmai. Uganda is planning to build a futuristic city. The project has received the green light. Bye! We are a go. This mission is a go from the local government. This isn't some uh, memorandum of understanding or something. Nah, this thing is a go. And it's set to be completed by 2036. So, you know, fucking 15 years from now. That's what I'm saying. Your Stellar's, that's a long-term play. Uh, well, uh, well, and also you got to remember, Stellar's going to be doing other stuff within this period of time, right? So to me, Stellar is a major, major long-term, uh, just hodl, just fucking hodl that shit. American singer of Senegalese, Senegalese origin, Akon, this is the singer guy, Akon, has been awarded one square mile of land to carry out the project. Wow, that's all? One square mile? Is that big or what? Because in Senegal, he got offered 2,000 acres. I don't know what the difference between acres and miles are, but... So, to be named Akon City, it will use a cryptocurrency based on... Look! Look! Bang! Stella Lumens blockchain to power the economic sector. Acoin. With a similar project to be executed on his native Senegal, in Senegal, in his native country, Senegal, the project cost is estimated to be as high as $6 billion. According to the blueprints on the Senegal City project, ACOM plans to build malls, schools, police departments, waste management services, hospitals, and other buildings for recreation and culture. The singer expects to drive and contribute to the development of these countries and bring opportunities to its inhabitants. Back. You know what I was thinking? You know, you know, Akon City is not going to be built for a while. Um, you know, by then we'll be rich. I might, I might buy a, you know, like a condo. You know, just not, not like property and a house and everything, but just like a little condo in Akon City. Yeah. Yeah, well, why not? In a crypto city. Okay, so though. In a previous post, Akon explained why he has chosen Stellar to issue its Acoin, claiming that the blockchain will help emerging markets like Senegal and Uganda. The singer believes Stellar will help to strengthen the financial infrastructure. Akon claimed, bringing the benefits of blockchain to Africa is our core mission of Acoin. We aim to improve Africa's financial infrastructure and lower costs by removing intermediaries and increasing transparency. Exactly. If everyone's just on this stellar thing, well, there is no intermediary. I just send it to you, right? So the end goal is to lower economic barriers for all Africans, said Akon. Stellar is a platform with speedy and scalability. Oh, sorry, with speed and scalability. Therefore, 
The singer believes it fits with Acoin use cases and the application's plans for its ecosystem. Stellar, Deve Stellar Development Foundation has also established a wide network of charities that accept Stellar Lumens as a form of donation, and philanthropy is at the core of the Acoin ethos and the Acoin Foundation. These factors make Stellar an obvious choice for Acoin. Acoin for Acoin. All right, we don't talk about price. Blah, 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 blah. So the price is going up, as you can see. So, bug Stellar hodlers. Oh yeah, this is a Stellar is a long term, big time, uh, big business uh, token right now, baby. And uh, like I said, I think it has the opportunity to build to be a global, just digital asset highway, you know, digital asset highway, right? You don't have to do sharding, you know, a sharding level to this or, a, you know, a wrap token, this or that. Nah, dog, you just put your fucking your stable coin on there and send that crap. You know, you just put your your crypto on it and send it. And so, Stellar Hodlers, bye. Great news, great news. And then, and then, but also though, but also just forget the, I know we're talking about the money part. I mean, that's what we're here for, to make our money. But just in terms of uh, coolness, right? These these cities that Akon is building now in Africa, yeah, they're all going to be, you know, solar powered, you know, fucking have all these charging stations for electric cars and, you know, AI and, you know, uh, just all this amazing stuff. So... You know, just in general, like not not just the greed part of it, like, yay, we're going to make money from the stellar. But um, just in terms of, um, well, we'll get to see what technology can really do for humanity, because that's what he's doing with these cities. Right. It's not the blockchain part. All right. That's just the money part. The A coins moving around. But he's it's all technology. Yeah. His hospital. He's got this hospital he's building in his other city in Senegal. Dude, it's got like, uh, I think like 500 doctors, like, I don't know, thousands of employees he's going to build. It's going to be a whole big thing where the doctors and the employees and actually will have housing and everything just so they can live near this place. Yeah, it's going to be the biggest and best. It's going to have all the, all the newest medical technologies just you can imagine. You know what I mean? All of it. You know, I'm not a medical guy, but... uh you know, I've seen some pretty cool stuff like where doctors, you know, put on VR masks, VR uh, goggles, you know, and they do surgery on a motherfucker 100 miles away, right? There's a robot doing the surgery, but he's 100 miles away. It's uh, the doctor. Yeah, yeah. A wild shit. Wild shit. You know what I'm saying? Wild shit. That's what this. That's what these cities are going to be like all the cutting the most cutting edge innovative tech is going to be dropped in the city. And so it'll be interesting. So I guess what I'm saying is, I guess what the point, what I'm trying to say is, it'll be interesting to see how a city like this fares against, I guess you can call these our legacy cities. <laughs> you know, these cities that are just, I guess, old school now compared to what these guys, these guys are going to do, right? Uh, we have old school cities, <laughs> right? We live in these, we live in these old school cities. Right, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, what these just fully teched out, you know, city like, you know, it's like when you buy a car. Yeah, well, you put new tires on it, you put new shocks in it, you put a new sound system in it, right? You fucking get the paint job on it, right? Yeah, it's a new car, right? That's what he's doing. He's taking cities. And he's like, oh yeah, watch me pimp this ride right here. <laughs> watch me pimp this city out. Bang! So we'll see, guys. I love it. I love it. And like I said, we're all going to make millions. Oh. And uh, I tell you, when this thing gets built, not this city, because this city is going to take a while. The Akon city that's in Senegal, it's going to be done by 2026, I believe. So that's just a couple years around the road, down the road. Yeah, I might buy a condo there, man. I'm just chill. I, I told you, I'm going to buy an airplane, right? I'm going to be, I'm going to get my pilot's license to buy an airplane. That'll be my house. I'll just chill out over there, fly there, fly to Europe, fly wherever. All right, guys. So, Stellar Hodlers, bye. Let's move on. 
Okay, CoinShares launches physically backed like Coin ETP. So, guys, you know, you know, I mean, so we we've read about these ETPs uh, just getting launched all over Europe, right? The Swiss and the Germans are just launching them, launching them, launching them, and that's what's necessary. Um, an ETP is basically a ETF, right? So here in America, you've got what's called an exchange traded fund, an ETF. Over there in Europe, they call them ETPs. Um, to keep it simple. So these are physically backed ETPs, meaning they have to actually buy the Litecoin. Ooh, fucking bug. And take them off the market. Well, as long as the ETP is alive, well, those Litecoins aren't going anywhere. <laughs> those Litecoins will never enter the market again, thus creating scarcity, thus driving up the price of Litecoin. Physically backed, physically backed, right? Meaning they have to own it. All right, so let me get a sip and we shall proceed. Litecoin. Litecoin murdered it. I switched out my Litecoin for Chainlink. I should have just bought Chainlink and kept those Litecoin, dang on. <laughs> I was lazy. All right, no, don't worry about it. I'm not going to yap about my shit. Oh, speaking of buying stuff, these fuck sticks in my chat, they're buying some coin. I don't know, it has like one quadrillion. Hold on, let me even look. I'll tell you guys. Hold on, actually, we'll do it at the shout outs if I remember. So hopefully I remember. Wait, what happened here? Hopefully I remember and then... We'll do it at the shout outs. Yeah, these guys in my chat, all of them, they're buying this thing. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's got one qu one quadrillion coin. Sloppy, he doubled his money, and he's like, yeah, I just doubled my money because it's getting close to zero. <laughs> yeah, like, thank God. All right, all right. We'll get there when we get there, though. I'm going to show you guys. I mean, normally I'd never buy anything, but I'm actually thinking of buying it just for the fun of it. Like, daggone, it's so cheap. You know, I might, you know, just throw like 500 bucks on it or something like that. You know, not not like I'm not wouldn't accumulate that. I wouldn't throw like bang a grand on it or something or like Tron, you know, bang 10 G's. Nah, nah, dog. Like 500 bucks. Why not? So I'm going to show you guys. And uh, you can see what the with the boys and girls in the uh, CB News chat are up to. These guys are up to all manner of shenanigans in there. <laughs> They're up to all manner of shenanigans. Dag on miscreants up to shenanigans, making millions. But I mean, dag on, when I hear some of the shit they invest in, I'm just like, holy crap. Have I taught you nothing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because you know what I realize right now? Hold on, let's look at a picture while I, while I yap right here. Because what I realize right now is, actually, all the great uh, stuff out here, we bought it all. Like, for you guys who were here with me from 2018 and all through 2019, but we just kept consolidating. Remember VeChain? 0 0.003, 0 0.07, 0 0.003, 0 0.9, right? It just kept consolidating, right? And we bought all that shit in 2 .9, uh, 2019, right? We bought all the best shit. We have all the best shit. VeChain. Bang! iota bang uh oh singularity night now it's got a talking daggone robot well the robot always talked but now they actually have a body for it it's moving around and walking sophia right we've bought the stuff which is what this channel is about is with the best government contracts and the best fortune 500 contracts right sorry sorry fortune 500 onboardings and government contracts right and now that I'm looking around, because I told you, I'm priced out of some stuff. I'm looking around to buy different things, and I'm like, Yeesh, this shit is just garbage. Wow, have you, you guys, have you guys who've been here long with me since about 2019 or earlier, all right, when we had everything real cheap and we bought all the good shit, right? Most of this crap is just a little bit of nonsense, isn't it? Right? All right. Just what I've noticed. All right, why are we talking about this? All oh, the ETP. All right, let's get to the ETP. So European Digital Asset Manager CoinShares continues to actively in 
expand its physically backed cryptocurrency exchange traded product offering with a new buy litecoin etp buy whoops lower bang buy so look according to announcement on tuesday coinshares has launched its coinshares physical litecoin listed under the ticker symbol lte or oh, lite each unit of the litecoin etp is backed by 0.2 litecoin or about 45 dollars at the launch providing investors with passive exposure to the litecoin network's native assets the new investment product will be initially listed on can anybody guess switzerland regulator regulated bang switzerland what regulated crypto exchange regulated in other words buy big money can come get it hedge funds can come get it banksters can come get it the institutions can arrive for it if they want so the usual stock exchange the sis the six swiss exchange and will with a base fee of 1.50 coin shares said oh w w sorry sorry <laughs> with a base fee of 1.50 coinbase shed said so light is now listed on bloomberg but now if you're new here you don't understand what the fuck bloomberg is a bloomberg terminal whenever you watch those uh stock market movies right you see the guys clicking on the shit and looking at the, the screens right and you see the, the keyboards right they got green and red and black and blue right those are called bloomberg terminals and uh well, when you're well, and so when you're on, a, so if you own a Bloomberg terminal, well, you are a super master, a real Bloomberg terminal, not these ones because they have the ones for people like us, like you and I. We can buy Bloomberg terminals, I think, for like a thousand bucks. Yeah, yeah, but you have just limited bullshit. But the real masters, hedge fund guys, those stock market guys that you see on TV, yeah, those Bloomberg terminals cost three hundred and fifteen thousand dollars, and it costs thirty one thousand dollars a month for the subscriptions, you know, for the price feeds for it. Yeah, and you can invest in anything in the world you want. Yeah, if you want to invest in futures contracts for a Filipino uh, pineapple farmer, pineapple, sorry, corporation, farming corporation, have at it. If you want to invest in, I don't know, uh, <laughs> sw uh, swaps for uh, Argentinian beef, con uh, beef companies, go for it. Right, and so that's why the only listing that matters, right? I know I hear in crypto land all these little nerds and uh, soccer moms and dads, they go, oh, it's listed on Coinbase, oh, it's listed on Qcoin. Let me tell you something. The only listing that really matters is when your token gets listed on Bloomberg. Yeah, that's it. This Coinbase and all that, all right, that's good for soccer mom and dad and little tech nerds and little cult members. But Moscow's. Mastas. <laughs> yeah, they use Bloomberg terminals. And that's the only listing that you should ever fucking care about is when your shit gets listed on a Bloomberg terminal. Sure, sure. I'm a V-Chain holder. And of course, when it goes on Coinbase, man, that'll be amazing. That'll be amazing. But not as amazing as when it hits the Bloomberg terminal. Once V-Chain's on that Bloomberg terminal, that's it. That's the highest. That's the highest level. You know, uh, that's the Super Bowl. You've reached the Super Bowl, buddy, right? Okay, so this thing, and so, all right, let's 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 get back down to earth here a little bit. <laughs> so I got into the high finance. Let's, let's, let's go back down to earth here. So light is now listed on, bang, Bloomberg Terminal, which means this is the Masta business. As you can see, it's regulated. Of course, you can't get on a Bloomberg terminal unless you are regulated. And like I told you, every time I say the word regulated, I want that to trigger you. Meaning, bang, hedge funds, bang, banksters, bang, mega financial institutions, bang, George Soros is coming. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the, when I say the word regulated, oh, that's how I want you to think because that's how it is. So this is regulated and Bye. Listed on the bye. Bloomberg terminal. Meaning, even though this is on the Swiss stock exchange, yeah, well, an American hedge fund masta can buy it. Uh, a Malaysian hedge fund masta can buy this. You know, uh, 
a fucking Brazilian hedge fund mobster can buy. Anyway, I, I, if you have a Bloomberg terminal, you can buy this now. Those kind of mobsters, those, those mobsters, they, they can't. They can't, right? <laughs> Not you, you miscreant. But the mobsters can. <laughs> me neither. Me neither. That's how it is, brothers. We, you know, we get locked out. Yeah, you wonder how the rich stay rich? Yeah, well, that, it's like this. That's how. That's fucking how. They list shit for themselves and then just make all the money. But look, that's a whole other story. And that's, uh, we don't worry about that. We're going to make our peace this time. Dag on right. Regular Joe. You, regular Joe. You're going to make your peace this time. You see, like, bang. Regular folk. D pack. Bang. Diesel hound. Bang. Justin Williams. Bang. Million dollar baby. That's what this channel's about. Regular folk. Regular folk getting their peace this time. Right? We're not going to buy IPOs anymore for $30, $40, $50 $50 when you fucking insiders bought it at 0.0000006. Nah. We're the ones <laughs> buying at 0.000 whatever now. And these sons of bitches are buying from us. Oh, yeah. They're buying from us this time. That's right. That's right. They're buying from us this time. Because it's the regular man's turn. It's the regular man's turn. It's been far too long. It's been far too long when the rich man gets away with everything. Just go, gets all the money, gets all the girls, gets all the stuff. Not this time. Not this time. <laughs> Look! That's what this channel's about, folks. Oh, yeah. We're going to tip the scale. This channel is about tipping the scale a little better for the regular Joe. It's what it's about. That's why I do this shit for free fuck sticks. Shamari, why do you do this? You're not even making money. It's not about the money. It's about the joy in knowing that. Bang! Yeah, some fuck sticks made some money. <laughs> and then we're going to go here. Bang! <laughs> Bang! And then 10 plus. Oh, yeah. We got much work to do. Much work to do, folks. But if I can help it. Oh, yeah. The regular man's going to get his piece this time. <laughs> he's going to get his piece. Look, and he's going to charge those rich fuckers a nice premium for his goods. Oh, yeah. A premium? We're charging these fuck sticks a premium, dog. We're charging these fuck. I bought those V chain at 0.003 cents. Well, a third of a penny. Yeah, well, you know what you're going to charge, what I'm charging for him? One dollar. <laughs> One dollar, bitch. And don't piss me off or it might be two. Bang! Look! All right, let's go. Let's go, guys. But that's how it is, guys. You're making this money now. You're making this money now. Real good. Real good. Now's not the time to stop. Now's not the time to stop. Now's not the time I know you're making your million dollars. Oh, yeah. You're making your million dollars and you're thinking, oh, man, I'm going to leave my job and all that. Not yet. Not yet. Keep getting those paychecks. Because look, Worker B, you get 26 paychecks a year. A Worker B gets 26 paychecks a year. That's you. You get 26 paychecks a year. So you need to have more money to push in to build your cryptocurrency portfolio. Right? Without money, you can't build the portfolio, can you? Without new money coming in, you can't build the portfolio. Well, as a Worker B, you only get new money every two weeks. Right? On the 1st and 14th. On the 1st and 15th of the month. And when you do, you stay in that job. Because when you do, your job is one thing. If you are a subscriber of mine, your job is one thing. To build a cryptocurrency warehouse big. Bang! To build a cryptocurrency warehouse strong. Bang! And to fill it with working product. Fill it. I know. Some of you are millionaires already. And even if you're not on the champion list, yeah, you probably got 500, 700 grand. That ain't gonna last you. By the time you buy a house and furnish it and a couple cars, that money's over. Now what? Now you gotta go back to work like an idiot. Back in the rat race. That's not what we're doing. We're gonna free you from the rat race. That's what this channel is about. Read the book One World. Uh, sorry, sorry. Well, read the book One World Ready or not. But but look, I want you to read the book. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yeah, we're gonna free you. That's what this channel is about. Freeing you from the rat race. Bang, 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 and you'll be free. Do it right, and you'll be free. All right, guys. 
So, st- so stick around at your jobs now. Don't get all crazy. Just because you made 700 grand, that's not going to last you. And you need more money to buy new shit, to buy more product, to buy more crypto. The tsunami hasn't arrived yet. We have a tsunami. Look, if you're new to this channel, let me tell you something. There is a tsunami of money that's coming to this space. Oh, and you want to be ready. You want to be prepared. And that's what this channel is about. It's called market positioning. Market positioning. In other words, while everyone's looking over there, we're positioning ourselves over here. For what we know is to come, like Noah. Don't worry, we're not going to do the whole Noah, guys. <laughs> but like Noah in the Bible. You know about Noah in the Bible? Huh? You fucking heathen. Look, pick up your Bible and read about Noah. What made Noah special? What made him special was no one knew of an event that was going to occur. And what did he do? He took action. He took action so that when said event occurred, no problem. And that's what you're doing. That's what this channel is about. It's called market positioning. You see how Noah positioned himself in the market? There was a flood coming. Well, he could either sit there and die and get flooded away, or he could get smart and position himself, building himself a big old ark, big, bang, building himself a big old ark, strong, bang, to hold animals, two by two, <laughs> two by two, so they could breed. Oh, you. That's what you're doing. There is a tsunami, bang, of money that's going to come to the space. Once we have regulatory clarity, right? I mean, it's not rocket science what's happening. We are getting an infrastructure built around this crypto land, this cryptocurrency asset class. The infrastructure is slowly rising and being built around it. It's a new room in the, it's like a house. There's a place that we all live. Well, I live here. You guys not really yet. You're visiting, but it's called the Goody Room. The Goody Room is a big mansion. Oh, it's a fucking mansion. Mansion. And they're building a new wing of the mansion. It's called Crypto Land. <laughs> It's for the new digital asset class, right? Like you have a new baby, you build a new bedroom for the baby. Well, you got a new asset class, bang, you build a new wing of the goodie room. That's what you're in. You're in the new wing of the goodie room. And once that goodie room, once that wing is built, well, then you invite all the neighbors in to celebrate, enjoy with joyous celebration at the completion of the new wing of the house for the baby. Well, cryptocurrency is the baby. And there's a new wing being built. But it takes regulation. Bang! It takes legislation. Bang! It takes investment vehicles. It takes custody. It takes insurance. Yeah, just a bunch of shit. Bunch of shit. But, eventually, it's going to be built. And when it is, well, the neighbors are going to come over and celebrate. Who are the neighbors, Shamari? Yes. That'd be your banksters <laughs> and your hedge funds. Bang, they're going to come over and celebrate. And we're already going to be here positioned, positioned to get their money. All right, let's move on. So that's what this channel's about. Market positioning, George Soros style. You only get 26 paychecks a year, worker bee. Only 26 a year. Utilize that capital wisely capital utilize your money capital is money <sighs> invest your money wisely wisely and you will be rewarded the goody room rewards all those with bravery bah you're brave and you get in here if i could put your money out here you don't know what's gonna happen don't worry don't worry you invest wisely yes <laughs> the goody room she will reward you yes you will nestle in her soft bosom. <laughs> I've been nestling in the soft bosom of the goodie room for 21 years. So believe me when I tell you, people. Worker bees, you will be nestled in this bosom. <laughs> soft bosoms. Big bosoms. For a long, long time. <laughs> I love me some bosoms. Look! All right, guys. Enough. All right, you get it? That's why you got to invest big. Bang! You got to build it for crypto 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 strong. Bang! Because you're like Noah. Bang! And you got to get ready. What's to come? So you can make these money and have the goodie room nestle you in her bosoms. 
ample bosoms. Oh, yes, they're ample. They're ample and soft. Oh, delicious. All right, guys. So let me get a sip. Now that I have talked away my buzz. <laughs> <laughs> I got serious there. I got serious. I mean, let me get back to getting buzzed off here. Mm. Yeah, it's the ample bosoms of the market. Ah, she'll treat you right, boys. She'll treat you right. That's how it goes. And that's what she's waiting for. She wants to give everyone a piece of the bosoms. Mm. They're big enough for everyone to get a touch. Look! She's got enough love to go around. <laughs> She's got plenty of love to go around, brothers. Oh, she doesn't tire of giving it either. All right, guys. So Litecoin is a major altcoin and a fork of the Bitcoin code base. That was, was originally positioned as a silver to Bitcoin's gold. Created by former blah, blah, blah. Created by former Google and Coinbase engineer Charlie Lee in 2011, Litecoin is nearly identical in technical details to Bitcoin, featuring some core differences like shorter block times. Oh, like shorter block times. Litecoin targets a 2.5 minute block time versus Bitcoin's 10 minutes. Litecoin is now one of the world's biggest cryptocurrencies, currently ranked the ninth largest coin by market capitalization, capitalization at $15 billion. So the coin shares physical Litecoin is the third crypto ETP uh, product launched in 2021 on CoinShares' institutional-grade ETP platform. CoinShares Physical, oh, on its ETP platform called CoinShares Physical. After debuting a physically backed Bitcoin ETP on the platform in January, CoinShares rolled out a similarly a similar product for Ethereum in February. According to the announcement, CoinShares now has over four billion in assets under management, with Bitcoin accounting for over sixty percent. Light is the next step on a path to bringing a more comprehensive and diversified offering of ETPs to market. CoinShares Chief Revenue Officer Frank Spiteri said. So the crypto ETP industry has seen some rapid development in Europe. Exactly. We've been reading about it. We've been reading about ETPs bang, bang all the time. Uh, in March, Deutsche Börse, uh, that's the German version of, I guess you could call it the New York Stock Exchange. In March, Deutsche Börse, Börse electronic trading platform, etc., announced the launch of its first, oh, etc., sorry. So etc. would be the version of NASDAQ. There we go. Um, announced the launch of its first Ether-based ETPs by European issues like ETC. Anyway, whatever, man. Fuck. Bang. So a lot of ETPs coming out of Europe, Germany, the Deutsche Bors, etc. Bang. And this Swiss stock exchange called Six. Um, we've been reading about them. Uh, they keep rolling them out. Um, actually, and I have one about Canada tomorrow. So it looks like Canada, Germany... And Switzerland, they are the ones pumping out, pumping out motherfucking uh, just fucking investment vehicle after investment vehicle, right? Lately, and and not only that, but I mean, bang, this thing is on the Bloomberg terminal, so it's not a joke. Uh, this is it. That's it. I mean, this is that's the big leagues. That's. You don't get bigger than that, and so uh, you don't get a bigger listing than that. Yeah, you could be listed on some exchange somewhere, all right, but when you're on the Bloomberg terminal, yeah, well, now you've made it to the Super Bowl, son, and so um, there we go, and so Litecoin hodlers, bye, good for you. Let's move on. Bye, what we got? Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys the fucking crazy coin these fucksticks were buying. Luck, luck. Where was that? Where was that shit? So as you can see, this is our chat room. 
If you want to be in the cryptocurrency blockchain chat room, just tweet me uh, privately and say, hey, put me in your chat and I'll put you in the chat. Where's the... Because I want to show you this. This is just so stupid. Oh, here it is. So it's called Shiba. All right, let's, let's even open it. Shiba. So this coin right here, look at it. it it's circulating supply is one quadrillion, <laughs> one quadrillion coins. Meaning, if that thing ever gets to a penny and you buy it now, you're going to be fucking rich. <laughs> so as you can see, it's at 0.0000006. Yeah, so if you buy, I'm thinking of buying some. I might, I might. Not a lot. I mean, I'm not going to fucking, you know, do like a Masta thing, but because I don't even know what they do, if anything. But I just like the whole, that's so stupid, quadrillion. Just to say I, I owned it would be funny. So, open it all, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. See, everyone's buying that right now in my in my chat. So, it's called Shiba.inu. <laughs> Sloppy said his money, I think he said his money doubled up already. And he bought it yesterday or something. Okay, guys, so just for fun, just for fun. I mean, obviously, I have money to spare, right? My money makes me money. I don't have a nine-to-five job, and so I can afford to spend money. So, all right, so I'm not, you know, so. If you're a worker bee, you should probably be buying, investing in working product. But, you know, if you got a couple bucks lying around, Maybe that shit. That that's pretty funny. I'm gonna do it. I looked at it today. I went to their website, and I think I'm gonna buy it through MetaMask. I'll just put like 500 bucks or something like that. All right. Anyways, just something that the crew is doing that the cryptocurrency blockchain people are doing. And like I said, if you want to be in our chat and talk with the people in there, yeah, just text me, man, uh, or tweet me, whatever. DM me. Is that what it's called? DMing. Just DM me, be like, Shmori, put me in the chat. Bah! Yeah, I'll put you in there, and you can hear all the shit these guys talk about. And they help each other, right? Everyone helps each other, right? Like, hey, man, what, you know, well, you know, I, 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 I bought this coin. Where can I, you know, what wallet can I use for it? And where can I stake this and that? And blah, 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 all these little technical details. All right? So it's a good resource for you. All right, so let's get back to the program. Bond followed me. Bon. Oh, that's it. All right. Larry with Zebra. Bon. Dino Jankovic. He's the guy who thought of the words Noah Fest. Larry with Zebra. The Bon. He was here way from the beginning, too. 007. This is 007's buddy. So was Van Brienen. So all those boys from the Netherlands, they've been here from the fucking way beginning. <laughs> Bang. Yeah, yeah. Noah Fest. That's because he, 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 he said it. It's like, why don't you call it Noah Fest? Genius. Genius, Dino. Live with Zebra the Bye. <laughs> of course, it should be called Noah Fest. What else should we call it? DJ Paulie Hood. Live with Zebra brother. Another one. He wasn't at the very, very beginning, but real close. Bye. Like maybe a month or two later. About only me. Live with Zebra brother. And the kid. Bye. Benny up. Live with Zebra the Bye. Benium, I notice you're not putting any stories out here anymore. What's wrong with you? All right, he used to have the stories out here. Anyway, whatever. Bitcoin Kong. Wow. Yes. Larry by the sea, brother. Bang. Grunchable, grunchable. Larry by the sea, brother. Bang. <clears throat> oh, what's Kong? Oh, of course, Kong. You know how he does. He loves him some goody room. He loves him a little bit of, what's the name of this character? Uh, Les Grossman. <laughs> Les Grossman from the movie uh, Tropic Thunder. Oh, man, that movie is great. That movie is great. Bang. That's Tom Cruise. Yeah, if you've never seen the movie, that's Tom Cruise. Damn, they made him into like a bald fat man. <laughs> this this movie producer guy. It's pretty hilarious. Love it. See with bang. All right. What do we got? Whoops, what happened there? All right. Oh, this is from the shit that I, I tweeted this weekend. Yeah, 
little inspirational tweet. I like to tweet inspirational stuff to people on the weekends. Uh, why not? So it's the Eminem. Yes. And it's very simple. I tweeted the Eminem song. What's the name of the song? Uh, shit. Anyway, I don't know the name of it, but it, it says... You better lose yourself in the music the moment you own it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. And uh, that pretty much sums up what the fuck we're doing here in crypto land. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better never, you better never let it go because you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow because this opportunity, it comes once in a lifetime. All right. Bah. What do we got? Oh, this thing here. I saw this earlier. Johnny Cash. So it says managed by the Johnny Cash estate. You know, and you guys know Johnny Cash. He was like a country music singer here. Well, they're, 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 his estate liked a tweet of mine. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's real or not. Johnny Cash, he was a bad motherfucker. He has a song about him killing his wife and burying her in the backyard. Yeah, do you know that? There was when I was a kid. There was this uh, a study of the most violent music, like which music is the vi- most violent, and everyone thought hip hop music would be the most violent. Nah, you know, country music was the most violent music in America, and they cited that song about him killing his wife and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think hip hop, you know, gang, I'm a thug, 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 uh, rub up a nigga and kill him and shoot him and all that kind of talk. Yeah, uh, country boys, they sing way more gangster shit, but they just sing it in a slow, easy way. All right, so Johnny Cash family, love you guys, see you guys, and I love your man Johnny Cash. His songs are cool. Bye. All right. Chief Vizo and the Vizo and the Pascu Yucky Tribe. Look, look. V-Chain Masters, V-Chain Hold Lust, V-Chain Killers. Love you, Chief. See you, Chief. Bang, tool master. Bang. Yes. All right, here's everybody. All right, that's what I was waiting for. Where is everybody? Oh, this is the tweet I sent. So, yeah. Oh, Lose Yourself, the song is called by Eminem. If you want any motivation. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, sorry. I started. I'm not allowed to play them. If I play it, I get in trouble. So, I'm not going to play it. But um, I told you guys, I got the copyright i got two, i got two copyright warnings already for playing you guys stuff they looked at me like a miscreant what are you doing to miscreant nothing stop it okay so i can't do it anymore but anyways lose yourself that's the name of the eminem song so watch that video eminem and uh and that song and uh that's it you better lose yourself hitting the music the moment you own it you better never let it go because you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Because this opportunity comes once in a lifetime. That's what we're about around these parts. Getting her. Getting her done. Like Noah. Bang. Knowing of an event that's going to occur and taking action. All right, what we got? Deborah, love you, lady. See you, lady. Bang. Sunny B, spy lady. Love you, lady. See you, lady. Bang. Oh. There's Quartz Crystal. She never, she talked to me once the other day. That was pretty funny. I never talked to her before. Like actually a conversation with her, right? She's just always hanging out in the chat. <laughs> Love family music food. And she's got a master portfolio. V-Chain. Bang! IOTA. Bang! And Bitcoin. Dag on right, girl. Yeah, yeah, she's been watching this channel. And she's a Forex trader. And the binary trading. Yes, yes. Well, Quartz Crystal, it's nice to fucking see you out here so I can bang you. In terms of the, 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 the sound I make. <laughs> but I mean, if you want to come to South, we can get banged. All right, I'm kidding. Inappropriate, 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 inappropriate. I'm sorry. All right, Quartz Crystal. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Happy to actually see you, girl. <laughs> Bye. Quartz Crystal. Look at her portfolio. She's built for. She's built for the tsunami. She's built for the tsunami. That's how you got to do it. Build yourself for the tsunami. Don't worry about the money. 
these little minute they, these little miscreants running around here pumping up prices of <laughs> ripple shit like that you need to worry about when smart money arrives when the analysts arrive ah and they see what's making money here well if you own what's making money you are going to be rich yeah that's how it is that's how it is just how it goes one working product get rich i mean just how things work, brothers. All right, let's move on. Berkluver, Hexican. Pound 5555, five, 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 hex squid. All right, brother. Love with the Zebra the Bang. Crypto Carlito, I haven't seen you for a while. Love with the Zebra the Bang. Andrew Bacheta, love with the Zebra the Bang. <laughs> yes, grow up. It's just science, dag on it. You dang on well no Godzilla will kill Kong. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Beautiful Brawlies. Oh, boy. Love it, lady. See you, lady. Bang. Van Breeden. Yes. Van Breeden. All right. Today's not a Van Breeden day. Van Breeden. And Kitty Breeden. Yes. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye. Oh, yeah. That's his homie right there. Everybody in his homie kitty. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're roughnecks. They run the... They, oh. You know where, where, where Van Bedien, he runs the town. Oh, yeah. Him and the kitty. Yeah, he walks around with the kitty. Yeah, he walks around with it. All right. The kitty's looking at folk and he's looking at folk. Oh, yeah. Like a badass. What? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> yeah, they run that town, right? He's the master, right? Like, uh, <laughs> you know, like James Bond. Remember in James Bond, there was that villain, right? He had that white cat. Yeah, that's how Van Bedienen is. Just walking around town. What are you looking at? Nothing, sir, nothing. No, uh, I didn't think so. That's how they do it. Van Bedienen, bang. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, him and the kitty. Just walking around. <laughs> Just walking around, terrorizing the town. Terrorizing the women and children. I got it. <laughs> All right, enough, enough. I'm just kidding. He's a guy's guy. He's in the basement. His mom doesn't know why. All right, Radster, 1975. Love with the sea brother. Bang! Holding down the insurgency in Prague. Bang! Yes. Native warrior. Oh, part of the Pascu Yaki tribe. I'm sure he's a tool master too. Look, look. Man, look at his shit. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm saying? That's how the Pascu Yaki tribe rolls. They don't fuck around. They ain't fucking around around these parts. No, sir. And if the crypto don't get you, the tools will. Love you, Native Warrior. Good to see you again. Love with the Zebra, though. Bye. Oh, yeah. Look at that portfolio. Straight working product. Straight millions. Technically bullish. Love with the Zebra, though. Bye. Deep Entertainment. So. Love with the Zebra, though. Bye. Lorna. All in downs. That's what she said. When I said, look, look. Oh, yeah. Lorna, you want some crypto? Fucking crypto. Oh, yeah, fuck stick. I'm all in. She said, look, look, I'm all in. Bang. Oh, yeah. That's her friend right there, the D-Pact. Yeah, the first, the first, the first champion subscriber. Bang. Yeah, these girls in Detroit, they're not fucking around. They're not playing games. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bang. Look at the portfolio. Massive. Look, 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 look. Look, look, look. Look, 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 look. <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> look. I mean, daggone. It's a lot of looking. Love you, Lorna. See you, Lorna. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bye. All right. Where are we at now? All right. That's everybody. That is everybody. Oh, there's Wesley. Wesley, love the zebra. Bye. Who's this guy? Jamal. Oh, Jamal Sim. Love the zebra. Bye. All right, good enough, good enough. Let's get back to the... Bang! Let's get back to the Death Star. 
Yes. So look, we had a great show for you today. Of course we did. The show's the greatest in the fucking multiverse, fuckstick. What'd you expect? Yes. We don't handle that. We don't deal with that mediocre jib jab and frim fram. Yeah. And jagabra. <laughs> Not around these parts. Not around these parts. You about straight cash, homie. Look, so, well, how are you about straight cash? Well, I'm about to tell you, son. I'm about to tell you how you about straight cash. Because, bah! Grayscale replaces XRP for chain link in large cap fund. Bah! Oh, that's straight cash, homie. You got some chain link? You got some chain link? No? Look, look. Look, look, you better think hard, son. You better think hard, boy. Look, look. Chainlink's part of the grayscale fund. All right. So seriously, though. I mean, so seriously. I mean, XRP is under SEC indictment. Like I've I've said it here before many times. Um, it's one thing for the SEC to indict a company. They do that all the time. The SEC probably has hundreds of indict. Well, not probably. You can go to their website and look at it. They do have hundreds of indictments against companies. But what happens is when the SEC, um, you know, brings you to court or the company to court, the company, the LLC, the actual corporation to court, what ends up happening is, well, they always win for the most part. And what happens is the judge says, all right, you daggone miscreants, talking to the the CEOs and that, stop doing what you're doing. We're going to give you a fine called a slap on the wrist. We're giving you a slap on the wrist. Stop doing that. Go on, get, get out of here. And that's what usually happens. All of them, I mean, being brought in front of the SEC usually is no big fucking deal. You know you're going to lose. You know you're going to pay a fine. But you'll get to continue your business, right? Yeah, well, it's a whole other ball game when the SEC not only sues, uh, not only indicts the company, but indicts the head heads of the company individually as citizens, right? So Ripple is not just, oh, Ripple Labs, come in here. You did some naughtiness. Okay, we'll stop and slap on the wrist and... Ripple pays some fine and just has to reconfigure a couple things and go on about their business. Now, the SEC has indicted the head executives personally. Garlinghouse and Larson, <laughs> personally. Um, that's a different story. In other words, wow, <laughs> they're looking for disgorgement. So first of all, uh, you know what disgorgement is, is every single dollar that Garlinghouse or Larson made from this enterprise called Ripple, they're going to have to pay it back. So they're going to be homeless and broke. And even worse, they could go to jail, right? Like when the SEC indicts corporations, like I just said, yeah, yeah, slap on the wrist. The judge gives you a naughty, naughty, a wag of the finger. You've been naughty. Don't do that. And then, all right, you pay the fine and you go on. All right, like nothing happened. All right, all right, all right, fuck. Yeah, when they indict the executives, <laughs> they want, well, disgorgement is the first. Yeah, but even jail time. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, like Lar Larson and Garlinghouse could face jail time, you know, and uh, they might think that all their little XRP Hodlers will save them in court. Judges don't look at it like that, right? What 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 Ripple is trying to do right now is get a whole bunch of XRP holders to go to the judge and tell the judge, "You're going to hurt us if we, if you if you if you you know destroy this thing called Ripple." Yeah, judges don't care about that asshole. They just care about the, well, was this law broken? And I'm going to rule on it, like, you know, and so. Uh, well, and so now let's get back to the story. And so, well, duh, obviously Grayscale is replacing XRP in this, uh, fund and they're replacing it with Chainlink 
chain link to the rescue for your portfolio this time. Bye. And so our chain link holders, yes, reach the big time regulated stuff. Regulated, and that's odd. So let's get serious though. But uh, so that's what I was also. Well, that's all very serious what I said. But now I'm just going to say it in a serious way. Is that um, what I've been telling you? Is that you know we need these small caps, the V chains, the iotas, the stellars, the chain links uh, to be incorporated into not incorporated into that should made into investment vehicles just like the Bitcoin, just like the Ethereum. And so uh, that's what we're seeing here with this grayscale uh, fund. Um, you want your V chains, your IOTAs, your Stellars, all of it in funds. And so that's what's happening. It's not just Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin anymore. Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum anymore. Now they're starting to expand out to other working product. And I mean, it's just the very beginning. This is just the very beginning. So don't get too excited. But, uh, well, you know, every marathon starts with the first step. And so every journey starts with this first step. And so this is the first. So, bye. Well, for America, for America, because I'm going to read to you. I read to you the ETP in, in Europe. That's already. But here in America, bye. All right. And since America's got all that loot, it's important. All right. And then secondly, Uganda chooses stellar. For the Akon City, so bang. So I think they said it wrong. Akon and Stellar are just building cities around the around Africa, right? And so this is the second one. Um, like I said, that Akon City thing. Fuck, that's crazy. I mean, it's 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 like they're gonna stuff every techno. Oh, wrong Kaz, 007, you're texting me right now. Huh. So this is what wrong Kaz says. This is 007, okay? I'm going to read it to you guys just for the fun of it. 007, holy 007, you wrote a lot. So 007 says this. I was thinking about what you said earlier, about not being that happy about your million-dollar accomplishment. Money itself doesn't make me happy. But the feeling making it does give me some adrenaline rush. And it's addictive at some point. I like the phrase, money is like oxygen. It only matters if you're short on it. <laughs> I, I can see where you're going with this already. That's pretty funny. So it is now 2.05 a.m. And this is what 007 sent right this second. So he says, I like the phrase, money is like oxygen. It only matters if you're short on it. And also the fact that we don't care about auction because there's enough. With that being said, I'm happier rich than being poor. And it's because of my own accomplishments. Absolutely, 007. Yeah, yeah. That's a good way. I like that oxygen thing. I like that. I'm going to use that on the show. I like that. Money is like oxygen. It only matters if you're short on it. <laughs> exactly, right? That's what I mean. Like, I'm not short of money. But I thought, well, you know, when I make a million, you know, I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to feel so special or something. And no, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. Actually, I'm just sitting here. All right. Well, when's my V chain getting to a dollar? Like, I, <laughs> I don't really give a shit. I, I opened my V chain app for that, that the 007 for that. Um, the node you helped me set up. I look at it. Let's take a look at it right now. So I have one node. I have one V chain node. I'm too scared to make to make too many. So I just did one, and it's the smallest node, right? So when I look at my when I look at my my node, right? Of course I'm happy, right? Look at these gains. So this node cost me three thousand dollars. Right, we were buying we were buying V chains back in 2019 for like three thousand, four thousand for a million of them, right? So here's my node. Hold on, let me make sure there's nothing you can hack me with here. <laughs> Some hacker watching it, and fucking, I got you, you fucker. All right, so watch this. So actually, I'm gonna cover the QR code 
I'm just going to cover a little bit, but right? There's the node. Oh, hey, we got to get right. All right, anyways, it's $123,000, right? Right now. I'm not I mean, all right, let me show you just to prove it. Now and now now people are going to say I'm lying to them. See it? Wow. You see that? $123,684.42. Right? And so, uh, why am I telling you guys that, though? And, uh, yeah, you know, I look at this. I know. I'm not that happy as I thought I would be. Like, uh, like you just said, uh, 007, like, and some other guys have told me in the chat too, like, it's not that, I don't know what, like it's not what you think it would be, right? Oh man, I'm making millions, man, I'm, I'll. No, it doesn't happen like that. It's just, all right, now I gotta wait till the tsunami and I, you still got work to do and everything, right? Like, in fact, I'll tell you the truth, all this money I've made right now, now I'm thinking like, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to get a new lawyer. Like, cause I gotta get, I'm gonna buy property in upstate New York. All right, I'm gonna have to find a good lawyer up there. You know, I'm gonna have to find a good fucking accountant up there. I'm gonna have to find a good real estate agent to find me some good properties. Like, it's actually more of a hassle. My life is very chill right now. I wake up, get fueled, smoke, do the show, get fueled, smoke. I mean, my life is very simple. Watch all the beautiful women around South Beach. I mean, talk to them, have them in my house. Like, my life is very simple. And now that the money is here, it's like, fuck. Yeah, now I got to look for lawyers and accountants, you know. Uh, it's actually more of a hassle. So, and I, I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel, but I think most of you, because a lot of you guys are telling me the same thing. Like, you haven't made a million yet, but yeah, you're up to 700 grand, aren't you? 800 grand and shit, right? You're close. You know, a couple more months, you'll be there, right? You'll be on the list too, right? You'll be on the champion list too. I mean, it's not much longer. And, you know, uh, you think you need all this money, but you realize eh, it's really just sort of a hassle now. <laughs> you know, now I got to find all these people and shit. All right. So thank you. That's funny. You just texted me right in the middle of the show, brother. Bye. You know, I love you. You're the node savior. But, in fact, that node right there that I just showed you, yeah, I fucked up and I fucked up my password. I was like, Dad, God. And then and then 007, he helped me. He's like, look, look, Shamar, settle down. Just just fucking download the software. Just download the app again. Type in the, uh, you know, all the words you got to put, like 24 words or some shit. He's like, just put the words in again. And, uh, yeah, you know, pick a new password and you're good to go. And so, whew, holy Thank you. Thank you, 007. <laughs> Bang! That's a, it takes a million coin to make a node. So that's a million and change, you know, a million and change. So thank you. All right, so let's get on to the stories again. So Uganda chooses Stellar for Akon City. Bang! Actually, I think it's really Akon has already chosen Stellar. And everywhere he goes that they let him build a city, well, it's going to be built on Stellar. And so obviously these are long-term things. Um, but mega, I mean, you want to talk about a government contract. It's not just the government. Well, we'll use your blockchain for this little piece of our government. They're using, sorry, bug. They're using the stellar thing for the whole infrastructure of the city. Uh, well, so you can't get rid of it, right? You, this contract is forever. As long as there's an Acon city. Stellar network is going to be used, right? And so, uh, so major onboarding, right? Obviously, a major onboarding when you're using a whole, you know, blockchain to run the finances of a whole city, right? And so, uh, Stellar hodlers, bye. And then finally, CoinShares launches a Litecoin ETP. And so, this is what I was telling you guys. Now we're getting into the, the smaller caps, right? Um, wow, Litecoin. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really consider Litecoin a small cap. Um, 
To me, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin are large caps, and then everything else I consider small caps um, is how I look at the market. And so I still look at it large cap. Um, and there's an ETP, and it's physically it's a physical ETP, so they actually buy the Litecoin to put into the fund, to put into the ETP, right? And so uh, taking thus taking them off of the market, creating scarcity, thus driving up the value and so litecoin holders bang and then finally let me let me just give one last one to jay williams justin williams my brother bye look look bye look look bye good job good job up to a million bucks and so bang welcome to the goodie room brother you are now an official member of the goodie room with one million dollars that you made not by working not by being a slave to someone else, but by making your money. Make you money. And that's how we do. That's how we do. Read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You got to stop working for money and making money work for you. And that's what this channel is all about. And uh, bang, Justin Williams did it. And uh, he's a member. He's a champion member. Bang. Look. And congratulations, Justin. Bang, I love your brother. And especially, you're the one who really convinced me to get that daggone V-chain, motherfucker. And so, yes, yes. <laughs> bang, you made me a lot of money. So thank you, thank you, brother. And I will see you at Noah Fest. And I'll see you tomorrow. So until then, let's chill it and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Bang, subscribe below, press the bell. You get an automatic notification when I do the show. The greatest show on earth. The greatest show. Dag on multiverse. Look, my name's Shamar Clock. Love talking money. Bye. Love talking crypto. Bye. This. 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 Kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. The favorite time of my day. The regular man's getting his piece this time. Yeah. Getting his fucking piece this time. So it's the favorite time of my day. So thank you for having you home, and I'll see you tomorrow. So until then, subscribe here. Press the bell for an automatic notification when I do the show. The greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. You want to be on this list, fuck stick? You best subscribe, fucker. You're just going to be a broke-ass piece of shit. <laughs> just kidding. Love you guys. Bye. But subscribe. So subscribe here, press the bell. Bye. Watch that video there. Bye. And give it also a thumbs up so that the algorithms on YouTube, like, pop my videos up a little higher. We can help some other miscreants make a million, too. And until then... I love you guys, and I will see you all tomorrow. So, my name's Shamar Clark, and I'm always on duty. Bye. Yes. Watching our money. Let's go, guys. It's real. The millions are real. Over and out.